Puk Ding, Nepal. We had an absolutely amazing day yesterday. We started the day with a very eventful flight. My stomach's in knots right now. I wasn't ready for that turbulence. When we landed in Lukla, we trekked four hours to where we are now. The plan for today is to trek 11 kilometers or about seven miles. We're gonna be gaining 2,500 feet of elevation, getting to 11,000 feet, and it should take us about six hours. We're trekking to Namche Bazaar today. But first, let's get some breakfast. We were told that while we were on this trek, we shouldn't eat any meat because the villages higher up don't have any fresh meat. Any meat they serve gets brought up by yaks and they carry it for days and days and there's no sort of refrigeration process. So it's just easier to get sick if you do eat the meat here. So for the next two weeks, we're vegetarian. Six hour walk from here to Namzi over there. Namzi height 2,420 meters. We just finished up a nice breakfast with some eggs and toast. But the best part was a hot cup of tea because it is pretty cold this morning. And we've just started on the trek. Have about six hours to go to Namche. Some nice flags behind me here. It's crazy the stark difference in temperature. When we started two minutes ago, we were really cold and as soon as the sun hit us, we're almost ready to shed layers already. It gets super hot during the day and very cold at night. I love this river with this peak in the background. So beautiful. Paying hey, our national park yeah, entry no, fee. Good. 10 minutes in, we're ready to shed layers. <laughs> Going to the shorts and short sleeves. That was quick. <laughs> Any direction you look, it's like the most insane view ever. Before coming out here, we read online that a lot of people try and push through the first two to three days, go really fast, and just make it through. These first two days have honestly been mind-blowing. Just the scenery and the beauty has been so much fun to experience, and I've loved taking it slow and just seeing all the sights along the way. This part of the trek almost has a Lake Tahoe vibe to it. We're actually trekking inside of a national park right now, and we're surrounded by big pine trees, the river running through. It's so beautiful. That was the first of two suspension bridges we're gonna to cross today. Those are always my favorite part. This peak here is called Kumbila. It's one of a few peaks in Nepal that are illegal to climb because it's considered holy. It's around 6,000 meters high and Namche, where we're hiking today, is just over there at the base of it. Donkey traffic. My favorite thing when d -Lock pushes donkeys. Keeping us safe one donkey at a time. We're about two hours in. We've hiked three miles so far. We've come to the village of Manju. We're gonna take a quick water and snack break. Here's a pretty cool map depiction of the valley. This is Namche where we're going tonight. And Everest. Sagarmatha is the name of Mount Everest in Nepali. So we've just entered in the Sagarmatha National Park. Suspension bridge number two. This water is actually coming straight from Mount Everest. That's why it looks so milky, that color. It is 11 o'clock, which means we've been trekking for three hours now. 
We've done almost four miles, which means we're about halfway to Numche. We've just stopped for lunch. Last night I had one of the best meals of my life, dal bot, lentils and rice. So I've ordered that again for lunch. Can't wait to try it here. We're gonna hang out here for the next bit before getting back on the road. All of the tea houses have pretty much the same menu. They have soup, noodles, fried rice, sandwiches, some have pizza, pasta, and then curry. Hey, thank you, thank you. This is my favorite meal. Thank you. You love the Nepal. I love Dalbat. It's amazing. Thank you. This one came with just a big plate of white rice and then a bowl of like curried vegetables and then lentils as well. So just gonna mix it all together and enjoy this. Hey, thank you. Sam, first time having Dalbot, how is it? Good, good choice. <laughs> d -Lock told us if the weather holds up and stays clear like it is right now, there is a chance we can see Everest today for the first time. So that would be pretty incredible. Also, I was wrong, we're crossing four suspension bridges today, not just two. So we're coming up on our third right now. I'm scared to hold the camera out over here. We have flat for the next mile and then after that, the last mile to Namche is supposedly pretty uphill. So I'm enjoying this while I can. This river in the background is just stunning. Stairway to heaven, here we go. All right, so this suspension bridge is Hillary Bridge, the longest suspension bridge on the trek and also nicknamed the mother of all bridges. We're about to go across it right now. The uphill climb has begun. Mother of all bridges. Here we go. Wow, look how windy it is out there. This is the first time I've actually been scared on a suspension bridge. That is a steep drop off on both sides. And the wind is picking up. Oh man. Woo. Is no joke. Oh man, get me off of this thing. Woo! We made it! Uh, yeah. Epic! These guys are the real MVPs, carrying all that weight on their back, strapped around their head. So impressive. That climb was worth it for that view right there. So here it is, we're getting our first look at Mount Everest. It's not that first peak that's visible, but the one right behind it. We've been trekking uphill for the last two hours or so. We're just getting to the tail end of it. Almost to Namche. Namche! We made it! What a beautiful sight. Yak cheese and chocolate, the necessities in life. Our home for the night, Hotel Kamal. We're on the fifth floor? We're going up five. All right. You thought we were done hiking today. All right, here's our room in Namche. We have two huge beds. Tons of space. Here's our bathroom, nice little sink. Still have the Western toilet for one more night and then a hot shower. Apparently the hot water turns off at six o'clock. So we made the mistake last night of showering before bed and the water was ice cold. So we're not gonna do that again. Best part of this room. Check out that view. This view out the window. Wow. Even though these hiking boots are very comfortable, it still feels nice to take the boots off at the end of the day. It's a great feeling. I love this town. They have everything. 
Trekking pants, trekking poles, backpacks. Chocolate carrot cake. Before we came on this trip, we watched a full YouTube series on the whole base camp trek. When Kara and Nate came to Namche, they came to a bakery and raved about a chocolate carrot cake. In many respects, the people of Nepal don't have a. So as good as it looks. Better than it looks, and it's warm. We decided that when we got here, we wanted to come try it. We've just come into that exact same bakery, ordered the cake, and I'm so excited to give it a try. I was dreaming about this when we were climbing uphill today. Oh, wow. That is really, really good. For being as high up and remote as we are, that's very impressive. Shout out to Kara and Nate. That was the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. Probably helped that we just trekked for six hours. <laughs> Couldn't help myself, the cake was so good, I ended up getting an apple strudel too. We're 11,000 feet up in two days from Lukla, and they have all of this stuff up here, which is mind blowing. I don't know why we're hiking more after the day we did. I blame Sam. Taking a quick hike up to a monastery. It supposedly has really good views of Namche. There are two entrances to get into Namche. We came in through the top one, but there's also this lower one down here. And the views from this one are awesome. It's so beautiful. We're just about to go to dinner and I checked our final stats for today. According to the watch, we hiked nine miles total. We've taken 21,000 steps and did close to 4,000 feet of elevation gain. So I'm exhausted to say the least. Looking forward to a nice dinner and then resting up because tomorrow we have another big day ahead of us. Got some macaroni fried noodles and a pizza. <laughs> Looks really good actually.